Hello everyone, look at what we've got right here. This is a duplex. Now, I know I'm gonna have to get a lot of information when I get back home before I edit this video to provide because I just can't do it here with the show going on. I'm just trying to get the footage, okay? So y'all hang tight with me, especially towards the end, I'll talk about a lot of important stuff, but I do know this house has some of the wildest things that I've ever seen far as a duplex in a manufactured home when it comes to like, being two separate homes in one, okay? I'm gonna show you a little bit of the exterior and then we're gonna just check them both out. We come down this side and we have a water faucet. I'm just gonna walk and talk down through here. We have all these windows. All right, so we're here on the back and you can see we got two, I wanna come right here, they kinda of got it covered up. But we got two different back doors. <laughs> and I knew the other day when I was seeing this, I was like, what's going on with that? And then I realized it was a duplex. But right down the middle, you basically, this house can be made into two sections. And like I said, I will, I will give you a lot more information on that. This is manufactured by Fleetwood out of Rocky Mountain, Virginia. Or Rocky Mount, excuse me. Another water faucet there. Man, this may be one of the wildest tours I get here at the show. This is the 2024 Louisville Manufacture Housing Show. This is a show that they have for the industry where they set up all these homes and they have a lot of vendors and everything where people can come and and meet everybody, network, and look at all the homes and everything, and, and place orders and that type of stuff, okay? All right, so we've got this one right here is three beds and two baths. This one over here is gonna be two beds, two bedrooms and one bath. I'm gonna show you this one first, and one thing that I just learned that they just told me is uh, that you can actually, see how they have the porches right here on the end? You could actually go, like if you wanted this porch down here, and then keep this one up here, that's an option as well. And like I said, I know I've already said it multiple times, we're not even made it in. Stick around. I'm gonna try to get and provide a lot of information for y'all, okay? Right now, I just really wanna focus on showing you the house and all that good stuff. Y'all ready? Let's go. We come in you can tell we've got full sheet rock right here i like this mantle that's very nice and same thing over here as far as your shelves we got the electric fireplace i'm gonna try not to be too I'm gonna try not to take too much time because I know we got basically two houses to see pretty much. So let's get on into the kitchen. You can see a lot of differences in between the two far as just cabinets and colors and that type of thing. Looks like we got us a pantry, we do. You can't go wrong with a pantry. So yeah, this house is three beds and two baths. We've got the, basically like a darker blue cabinet with these black pulls and knobs. We got an electrical outlet here. Y'all definitely drop some comments along the way. Let me know what you think, okay? Got the Springer faucet. Huge sink. What about the size of that sink? All right, so let's go down here and start looking at some bedrooms. We got three of them. Here's our first. I like this so you don't have to come down too far and you've got a bathroom.
Shepherd Tub Combo. Wonder a bit, maybe you got a water heater behind there, or is that gonna be? <laughs> Sorry, your furnace. I knew it was like, I don't think they'd have the water heater. Right there, but that's your furnace. I like how they covered that up, looks great. We come down here, and this is gonna be considered pretty much the main bedroom. We got the closet over there. I'm gonna hit that, but I wanna go ahead and show you this bath while we're over here. We have the shower tub combo. Now with these houses, I've toured a lot of Fleetwoods here uh, this week. And so you got a lot of different options with them, tile shower, stuff like that. You could probably do some of that here in these homes. Uh, based on what they was just telling me when they was telling me about the porches, a lot of customization and stuff can be done. And also, they're looking at, this is kind of like their first one that they're building. They're planning to do some other stuff as well. So hopefully when all that comes out, I'll be able to get some footage. There's where that water heater's going to be. Let's see. I think we're going to have our laundry room as well. Yep, it's going to be back here on the very end. This is where the back door is. We're going to step over, look at the other house, and then we'll finish up uh, on the outro, talk about a few things that I think will really help you. Let's go over there. Okay. So then I just left the neighbor's house. I'm coming over here. Yeah, me and old uh, Jimbo, we've been watching the football game. I gotta get, I gotta sneak back in the house. Wife and kids are asleep. <laughs> so, porch again, like I said, those porch could be on the back. Let's head into, oh, so this one's got a, a little bit different layout. I guess was well, definitely flipped too, you know, but the kitchen is what I'm kind of looking at. I, I'm always talking about y'all not getting ahead of yourself and look at me. I'm sorry, I was in there, I was looking at the kitchen. We got the electric fireplace. Got the same mantle, the same shelves over here as well. So this one's a two bed, eager to see the size of these rooms. I bet they're gonna be a little bit bigger really wasn't paying attention when I was showing y'all the floor plan. You probably already know, don't you? So check it out. We're gonna got, we have this dining spot right here and the flooring looks really great. Oh, look, we've got a built-in microwave. This would be, you know, probably consider this your pantry as well. In this house, they went with the brown cabinets with the black pulls and handles and everything again. Uh, except we got something different right here on the island. Looks like we're gonna have this same sink that we had in the other house. Just noticed we got some lights here under the cabinets. I didn't really pay attention if we had that over there in the other house. We got the stainless steel appliances again, but then yeah, we got some different cabinets right here. I like these kitchen tops. I'm kind of just to, not to be partial, y'all let me know, but I'm kind of liking this one a little better right now, but we ain't got back there yet. So let's let's go back there and make look at the bedrooms and bath and all that, and then we'll make our final decision, okay? So here's another floor plan that I've seen. See, this shows you like with the porches on opposite ends and but you know this is both of these are two bed one bath okay hmm so man just a lot of opportunity here 
Yeah, what's your perfect setup? I'd have to, I'd have to see. I, I don't know. Let's go back here. I'm sorry. Let's go back here and see what we got. Two bedrooms. Here's our first. You can definitely tell this bedroom is a lot bigger than, um, well, maybe not any bigger than the main bedroom over there, but definitely bigger than those other two. Got some nice crown molding and trim throughout this house. Here's a bath. Well, only bath. This is the only bath in this uh, section. Got you a towel rack there, and then we have, looks like to be the same uh, sliding door shower that we had in the other section. Which, I don't have a measuring tape with me, but I'm just guessing that probably about you 72 inch right there, fiberglass uh, shower. That's what I'm thinking. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never been wrong, so. Okay, out of there, down here to this bedroom. Okay, okay. Okay, this bedroom's got two windows in it. You know, that's going to be a good size closet. There's your breaker box here in this section. And then, so yeah, we have a really nice walk-in closet in here. Last but not least, we've got the laundry room. Same thing, y'all remember we looked at them doors on the uh, back side. this is that other door. Okay, here's a spot for your washing your dryer. I mean, you've got pretty much the necessities in here, spot for that, you've got you a nice rack or a shelf, and that's what we're gonna have. All right, so I'm trying to collect my thoughts. I feel like I've flown through this house and it's just, I don't know, it's just something that I don't get to tour every day, first of all. But we've got two sections. Me personally, already thinking I definitely want the porches flipped around. Um, if I was going to be, you know, buying these to rent out or whatever. Uh, but then again, I don't know, with both of them on one end, they may rent better that way. So that's something you got to consider. Uh, but personally, I probably like the two bedroom version better. And it's just because you got more room in this area. Honestly, that's all it is. Y'all let me know. I'm going to get into more information on this particular setup. Y'all don't forget to share this video, subscribe, and drop a like if you will. Thanks. Hey, everyone. So let's get into the outro. Just a couple things that I want to cover that I think will really help you. And then we'll be done here. Okay, so uh, this is a this is manufactured by Fleetwood, right? But it's a part of Cabco. And I'm gonna drop their link in the description, but it's Cabco and it's the Anthem. I'll pop this up for you, the Anthem Duplex series. And this got all types of information that can explain all this a whole lot better than I can. But you'll see right here, nationwide availability, multiple floor plans, increased density, okay? And so, that's one thing that I really wanted to just briefly talk about is one of the guys there told me. So basically down the middle of this particular model, you have your firewall, right? And so if, if you look at the floor plan, it runs off of like two different serial numbers. So you technically got two different HUD manufactured homes in one. And so if you ever needed to, now, I don't know the for sure ins and outs on this, but kind of what he was saying is like, if you ever had to say split this home in half and one family had one half and the other had the other half or something like that along those lines, that can be done. So I thought that's pretty awesome. That was one of the main things that I really wanted to share. But a lot of the other stuff, I'm gonna recommend you checking out that site. I will drop it in the description and uh, it'll, just, it'll just explain a whole lot more than I can, plus show you areas that you can get this house, okay? The videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, and guys and gals, <laughs> yesterday, actually, I went 
and I toured some more brand new models at a, at a location. It was only like four or five of them. But I'm telling you right now, and I, and I cannot make this up. I know you're like, oh, here he goes. But I'm telling you, it is going to be, there's one in particular. There, it, is a, it is a model that I promise you, you've never seen anything like it as far as the manufacturer at home. I promise you. I know I haven't, and I've toured hundreds of houses. And I'm hopefully going to have that video ready by Thursday. I would love to say I'd have it by the next video Tuesday night. I just don't think I can have it ready by then. But Thursday night for sure, I'll keep you posted uh, if it's not Tuesday for sure when it's coming. Anyways, though, I'm telling y'all, what I'm really just trying to get you to do is stay tuned. And I believe once you see the thumbnail, when the video comes out, it don't really matter what I say here. You're going to want to watch the tour, I believe. But I just want to encourage you to be like, hey, have it on your radar next week. Some big stuff is coming. And then plus, I've got other amazing houses from the show here that we'll be posting as well. 6.45 Central, the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay. Let's get into estimated retail pricing. Now, like I've already mentioned, so many options on this house. So many areas this house can be built and shipped to, okay? So you just got to keep all that stuff in mind. Plus, this was at a show. We don't know those freight charges. We don't know the options. We don't know the state, county fees and stuff like that that this house has to be built to and all of those lingering things that we just don't know. So it's got to be a range here for you, but this will be a good uh, estimated price at the time we're recording. And y'all know, I just want to stress for sure, that I the pricing I always provide is just what's been provided to me, okay? But I'm not selling these homes, okay? And so it could be different depending on where you're at. But I do like to provide something for you and give you a good idea. So here you go. I would love to have me about 10 acres and about 10 of those. I tell you, man, to me, I guess that's something that I can start working towards. But uh, I just think that's such a cool, cool deal that they're building right there. And I mean, and, and the thing is like, people want to talk like trailer parks and stuff like that, but those houses right there are nice. And couldn't you imagine those? Like I'm looking at the website that I popped up for y'all, but the, like the nice landscape and the front porches, it'd just be a beautiful little community. So, so I guess we all got to have something to work towards, right? So yeah. All right, anyways, I'm going to head out. Hope every one of you have a tremendous weekend. And don't forget to stay tuned next week, okay? I do hope you're able to spend quality time with your family this weekend. And may the Lord bless you and give you some beautiful weather like we've been getting here. It's been phenomenal. Just so grateful for this weekend and just the beautiful weather we've got. All right, I'll see you next week. See y'all real soon.